The ignition coil's primary purpose is to transform the battery's low voltage into thousands of volts needed to create spark in the spark plug. That spark is ignites the air-filled mixture inside the cylinders, allowing the combustion process to happen. Without a functioning ignition coil, your spark plug won't fire properly, leading to poor engine performance or even preventing your car from starting altogether. The number of ignition coils your car has depends on its engine configuration. Older vehicles often used a single ignition coil to power all the cylinders, but modern cars usually have one ignition coil per cylinder. So if you have a four cylinder engine, you'll typically have four ignition coils, six cylinder engine will have six and so on. Some high performance engines may have dual ignition coils per cylinder to increase the efficiency of the power. Symptoms of a bad ignition coil. Check engine light is on. Just like with spark plugs, a failing ignition coil will often trigger the check engine light. When the ignition coil fails, the engine can misfire and the onboard diagnostic system will detect the problem. The check engine light might blink or stay solid depending on the severity of the misfire. You can retrieve the trouble codes using an OBD2 scanner to confirm if the ignition coil is the issue. A misfire is the most common symptom of a bad ignition coil. When coil isn't delivering enough voltage to the spark plug, it won't be able to ignite the air fill mixture in that cylinder. You might feel the engine stumble or hesitate, especially during acceleration. Misfire can happen intermittently or constantly, depending on how badly coil is damaged. Third symptom, rough idle. If your car is idling rough, you might feel the vehicle shake or vibrate while sitting at a stoplight. A bad ignition coil will disrupt the combustion process, causing the engine to run unevenly. You will notice the car feel less smooth, almost like it's shattering. Number four, difficulty starting the vehicle. A bad ignition coil can make it hard to start your engine, especially on cold mornings. This happens because the coil isn't supplying the proper voltage to the spark plugs, which means the engine cannot generate the combustion needed to start. If multiple coils are failing, you might not be able to start the engine at all. Number five, poor fuel economy. When the ignition isn't firing correctly, the engine doesn't burn fuel efficiently. This results in unburned fuel being sent through the exhaust system, which lowers your gas mileage. If you notice that you're filling up your tank more more often than usual, that could be the sign of a bad ignition coil. Number six, engine stalling. A bad ignition coil can cause your engine to stall. This happens when ignition coil cuts out while driving or when you're idling. You might notice your car randomly shutting off, which can be dangerous if you are on the road. Number seven, backfiring. Backfiring occurs when unburned fuel is expelled through the exhaust. A faulty ignition coil can cause this issue because air fuel mixture doesn't ignite properly in the combustion chamber. The excess fuel ignites later in the exhaust system, resulting in a loud popping sound. If left unchecked, this can damage your catalytic converter, leading to more costly repair. Few ways to diagnose bad ignition coil. If you suspect bad ignition coil, you can diagnose it with a few simple steps. First, you will want to use an OBD2 scanner to check for the codes, misfire codes like P0300 or specific to the cylinder such as P0301 for cylinder number one often point to a faulty ignition coil. Next, you can perform our spark plug test to see if the ignition coil is producing a spark. Remove the ignition coil and plug it into the spark plug while grounding it to the engine block. Crank the engine, check if there's a visible spark, if there's no spark or if it's weak, the ignition coil might be defective. Lastly, some mechanics use multimeter to test the coil's resistance. If the resistance is outside of the range, depending on car's engine again, it's time to replace the coil. Typically, manufacturers recommend or inspecting or replacing coils every 100,000 miles, but it's always a good idea to check your owner's manual for specific guidelines. If you're replacing ignition coil, it's usually a good idea to replace them all at once. That's it for ignition coils. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, make sure inspect your ignition coils, get them replaced. Thanks for watching.